Hey, my name is Jonathan Small, and I really do believe that leaders can find better ways to address the situation than just complaining. One of the things that complaining does is it tears people down and it focuses the attention on the person as opposed to the actual problem or the situation. So in every complaint is an opportunity to find a win-win situation where you can build up other people. And yes, as a leader, you do need to have those difficult conversations to address bad behavior, to address situations that did not uh, turn out the way that you expected. But focusing on the situation as opposed to the person can really create a win-win situation where you correct behavior and still build that person up. So that way, the next time that something like this happens, uh, you'll have a positive outcome. So let's go through this case scenario in this article and see some of the lessons learned about complaining. So one of the first lessons learned in this story with Emily, she's working with a difficult doctor. And just because that doctor was well-known, well-renowned, it does not make them a leader, okay? Now, they are the authority in this situation because they own the practice and they are responsible for making decisions. But clearly in this situation, they were not the leader as opposed to Emily, who was a nurse manager and she demonstrated positive leadership qualities and that made her the leader. That made people want to follow her as opposed to people want to follow the actual authority figure and in this story was the actual physician. So as a leader, you really wanna focus on your actions and not your job title or your authority. Now, just because you are that authority figure when you don't have good employer employee relations, you really pull down your own investment. So we spend a lot of time working on ourselves, pouring into others. And when you have bad employee relationships, it actually pulls yourself down. And that's something that you won't, don't want to do. We, we spend a lot of time trying to become better at what we do. And the last thing that we want to do is damage our own reputation by having bad relationships. Now, there's a lot of different leadership styles. The one in this case scenario, uh, the surgeon had very much a dictatorial leadership style. And what he ended up doing was creating a very toxic work environment. And you see this often when you see an authority person or a leadership person speaking down to people. Uh, and it doesn't help with employee morale. It tears people down. And this is something that you do not want to do like we witnessed here in this case study. Instead, you're looking for a peaceful employee-employer relationship. Now, that doesn't mean that the employer overlooks bad behavior or the employer doesn't correct bad behavior. As a matter of fact, that is one of the things uh, that can ruin a peaceful work environment is when employers allow or leaders allow uh, employees to conduct themselves in an irresponsible way. So what you're looking for is a peaceful environment where it is good for the employee, it's a good work environment. We're going to focus on overall satisfaction of the organization of each individual of the team. And so one of the biggest ways that you can do that is by not criticizing, okay? You want to lift people up, you don't want to condemn them, and you want to motivate them. You don't want to complain because the overall goal here is to rectify situations, but at the same time, build people up. So how do you actually do that? So it can be done in a professional way where you focus on the behavior and not the person. So in this case with Emily and the surgeon, Emily 
focused on the surgeon's behavior and not the surgeon uh, themselves. So it wasn't the surgeon was a bad person. It was the things that the surgeon was doing uh, was inappropriate. By focusing on the actual situation and not the person, you are actually protecting their pride. As people, uh, we all have a sense of pride, a sense of respect. And when you focus on behavior instead of the person, you are going to protect their pride. Something else that Emily did here is she gave calm instruction when giving suggestions. So most times employees won't see this as criticism instead of saying uh, to a person uh, that what they are doing, uh, that they are wrong, uh, suggest in a calm way a better way of doing it. Uh, but you definitely do want to point out uh, what they did was wrong, but also give suggestions in a calm way of how we can address the situation better. You want to use positive language. Scolding someone verbally is usually not going to be the best way. It's, they're going to take offense to it, uh, but keeping the language positive amidst the corrections can go a long way in having a peaceful environment, uh, but at the same time addressing a problem and achieving the overall goal. So do not criticize, do not condemn, do not complain lift people up.